For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. Is the issue fundamentally, Richard, that, that you'll you'll never be satisfied with a an immaterial explanation? You'll always be, as a scientist in a sense, um, and as a materialist, let's face it, 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 you, you're, you're not going to sa- be satisfied with anything but a, a material explanation for the material universe we live in. But that's part of it. I, I suppose um, perhaps we both come at it from a, with, a, with, with a bit of um, emotional, not emotional is the wrong word, a bit, a bit of presupposition. Um, as, a, as somebody who's deeply steeped in evolution, um, I am kind of in love with the idea that it's possible to explain complex things in terms of simple things. And um, Mm. that's um, foreign to normal human nature. It's a difficult thing for humans to grasp. And, And Darwin's great gift to us, I think, is to show that big complex things come into can come into existence by an explicable understandable beautiful elegant process of gradual evolutionary change and that's such a beautiful idea that uh inventing a big complex thing which god must be if he exists throws a ruddy great spanner in the whole works of the beauty of that Darwinian <laughs> concept of... You, you, you don't like the way the universe looks with, with this sort of... We're both really talking about how we like the universe to look, and, and I, I, I think it's yeah, probably... Yeah. But I, I suppose, Francis, is, is God this, you know, complex sort of mysterious explanation as far as you're concerned for the yes I mean, God, God, God's got to be co- co- complex um, I mean I, I have come across the- theologians who say the beauty of, the beauty of God I think uh, Swinburne uh, um, Rich, Richard Swinburne the- theologian says God is totally simple that's the beauty of him you don't need a complex God he is simple and I mean, that's ridiculous because if he is simple he couldn't invent the fundamental constants and the laws of physics and, and... well let, let's Fra- francis what's your view on oh that? no i think whatever ability uh, we humans have to try to imagine what god is really like if god exists and i believe he does uh is got to be so completely pathetic <laughs> compared to the reality of that complexity uh, and that um awesome uh, capability as a physicist mathematician a mind i think of god as a mind not as some you know gray-haired guy in the sky which has been an unfortunate image foisted on generations of believers uh, i don't think god has gender i think god is a mind that is capable of things that you and i cannot possibly imagine if he exists then that must be what he is yeah. yes if if god exists now you almost sound, Richard, that you would be disappointed ultimately if if that was the explanation. You would prefer that there be a sort of Darwinian explanation of the the universe itself. That that's sort of where your mind goes. You don't like the idea that there's actually is some kind of a mind behind. Yeah, it. that's a fair summary of what I just said. <laughs>